Let me introduce you to the Polestar 4. It is a fashion-forward, coupe-like, all-electric SUV that is making its North American debut right here at the New York Auto Show. Now, this company also just announced U.S. pricing for this vehicle, so make sure you stick around for that. So, the Polestar 4 is a coupe-like, all-electric SUV, and it's the automaker's second utility vehicle after the Polestar 3. Now, in terms of size, this vehicle is positioned between the Polestar 2 liftback and the Polestar 3. The overall length is about 190.5 inches, and the wheelbase is 118. The Polestar 4 is, therefore, about 2.5 inches shorter than the Polestar 3, though the wheelbase is actually half an inch longer. Confused yet? Mm, I hope not. So, visually, this is a great-looking vehicle, just like other Polestar models, and helping to anchor that styling, we've got wheels that span between 20 and 22 inches, though, of course, if you opt for the available performance pack, you do get gold-finished calipers, four piston Brembos up front, and those calipers do look pretty nice, peeking out through the wheel spokes. Now, up front, we can see this vehicle has sort of a, well, sort of a dual-blade headlight design, something that we have not seen on other Polestar models to date. And in this application, I think it does look pretty nice. Pulling out a little bit farther, you can get a better look at the overall shape of this vehicle. And of course, we also have rain-sensing windshield wipers, which are kind of table stakes in the premium end of the market these days. So enhancing aerodynamics for better vehicle efficiency, we have a surprisingly low and almost shark-like nose on the Polestar 4. There are retractable door handles, so when you're driving, those should be very flush with the side of the body. We also have flush-mounted glass and then frameless windows, just like you would get on a coupe. There's a surprisingly rakish roof line, and supposedly, even though this is very stylish, it does not cut into rear seat headroom. And I, I did sneak back there a minute ago, and there is a ton of noggin space in this vehicle. But speaking of the roof, there's also a full-length glass panel. That should be standard on this vehicle, though if you want electrochromic dimming, that is optional. Now, if you're eagle-eyed here, you'll notice that the Polestar 4 actually does not have any back glass at all. That's a filler panel there, and there's a, you can see the rooftop right there where there is some glass. And this is a potential problem, I think. It's a controversial decision because, you know, outward visibility is pretty important when you're driving, and in this car, in theory, you can't really see anything. However, they've replaced a traditional rear view mirror with an 8.9 inch HD display that sends a live video feed from a roof mounted camera. It's right up there in the middle at the top of the roof. And we've seen this in other vehicles, and some people aren't fans of digital rear view mirrors, but I happen to think they work pretty well for the most part. And of course, you know, this is not the first time you can't see out the back of a vehicle. Commercial vans, tractor trailers, or even if you've got a conventional car loaded up with cargo, your rearward visibility will be blocked. Now, my initial thoughts, I'm cautiously optimistic about this design element, and I can't wait to test it to see how well that camera system actually works. So in less controversial news, let's talk about specs. Single and dual motor models will be offered with either rear or all-wheel drive. Now, the long-range single motor version should deliver 272 horsepower and 253 pound-feet of torque, which is enough to get you from 0 to 60 in around 7.4 seconds and entirely respectable time. But if you opt for the long-range dual-motor trim, that has 544 horses and 506 pounds of twist, which can get you to the mile-a-minute speed in just 3.8 seconds. Really quick. This car has a 102 kilowatt hour battery pack that should provide more than 300 miles of range in the single motor variant, or about 270 in versions that do have all wheel drive. And that battery should AC charge at up to 11 kilowatts, while DC fast charging tops out at 200, which should be enough to get you from 10 to 80% in just about 30 minutes. Just like the automaker's other products, the Polestar 4's interior is beautifully designed and loaded with great tech. There's an available Napa leather package, but there's a real emphasis on both sustainable and recycled materials with this cabin. Now, when it comes to screens, there's a 10.2-inch digital instrument cluster right there ahead of the steering wheel, and a 14.7-inch head-up display that is included with the optional plus pack. 
Dominating the dashboard is a 15.4 inch screen, which should be home to a Google-based infotainment system. More on that in just a second. And then of course, there's the 5.7 inch rear control screen, which also is included with the Plus Pack. Like I mentioned, there's a Google-based infotainment system that includes the Google Play Store, Google Assistant, Google Maps, and even Apple CarPlay is supported. And if any of Polestar's other vehicles are any indication, this system in the Polestar 4 should be absolutely fantastic. Incredibly speedy, incredibly responsive, and very easy to use. Now, a 12-speaker Harman Kardon audio system is included with the Plus Pack, but you can also get a 16-speaker sound system if you upgrade to that Napa leather package, which you may want to do, because that sounds pretty nice. You also get an 8-way power driver's seat, or there's a 12-way chair included with that Plus Pack, along with heated rear seats. The 2025 Polestar 4 looks fantastic. It offers some compelling technology, and this thing should be a lot of fun to drive. As for pricing, the base version kicks off at about $56,000, including $1,400 in destination fees, though if you grab the dual motor version, you're going to be spending around $64,000. Now, you should be able to order one of these vehicles starting next month. Next up, Genesis just unveiled a full-size, all-electric, luxury SUV concept called the Neoloon. Click right over here to learn more.